Welcome to another episode on stocks and cryptos. First news is related to the bearing stocks in India, the Scruffler and SKF. So both these are bearing stocks and they are multinational companies. They have given really good returns in the last one year and they will continue to do so in the next year and next decade as well. So I am really bullish on these two stocks because bearings are required everywhere and that's the reason and they are kind of a duopoly in uh, bearing industry. The next news is related to the Chainlink Labs. So Chainlink Labs have got the token called as Link and I'm very bullish on that because the former Google CEO Eric has joined the strategic advisory board for the Chainlink Labs. So Google CEO, I don't need to tell anything about that, like how intelligent and uh, how powerful that personality is. And as they are joining the advisory board for the Chainlink Labs, it's really big, big news for them and the investors as well. And I would like to announce that I have hit the 100 followers on the Twitter. So I'm really happy about it and I will continue to do my work on the Twitter going forward as well uh, in the crypto and stock space. Next news is related to the Polkadot cryptocurrency or the ecosystem. So people are really bullish on this Polkadot ecosystem going uh, into the 2022. And both the networks, DOT and the KSM networks uh, will see huge growth in upcoming years and that's the reason i have also created the position in this particular token as well dot and ksm and the next news is uh, from india so la opala uh, is the stock and it has crossed 400 rupees for the first time in its history and there are multiple triggers as well wedding season festival sales and new year etc and along with this stock borosil and red tape uh, may also do really good so la opala a really quality stock it is again multinational stock and uh, uh, in the previous year as, as well it has given really good returns next news is uh, related to the colombia and uh, gemini so gemini is one of the popular cryptocurrency exchange and uh, they have partnered with the bank of colombia so that will allow the people from colombia to do the trading in cryptocurrencies using gemini's platform so really positive news for the gemini uh, investors and Colombian investors as well the next news coming from the Japan so Japan is gonna impose the stricter regulations on the stable coins so that is gonna happen so that is expected like uh, not just Japan all uh, the countries from all over the world will be imposing the stricter regulations going forward in 2022 and 23 24 in uh, upcoming two years cryptocurrency industry will be heavily regulated with the stricter regulations Next news uh, related to the Intel. So Intel's subsidiary Mobile Eye is gonna be uh, doing the IPO. So they will be become a publicly listed company, Mobile Eye. So along with the Tesla and uh, Rivian, and there are lots of other self-driving uh, car farms, and Mobile Eye is one of them, and that's from Intel. It will be interesting to see how this stock will fare in uh, upcoming future. The next news is related to the IDO platform. So IDO is basically initial uh, decentralized exchange offering. So if a new project in the cryptocurrency industry wants to raise some money, they can uh, do that by uh, using this platform, IDO platforms. And one of the most popular platform here is the DAO maker. So they have also got the token native token as well called as DAO and uh, that's why I'm gonna create a position in the DAO in coming uh, maybe next uh, couple of months the next news is coming from India in India this uh, capital market regulator that is SEBI is gonna be regulating the crypto industry as well crypto markets as well so that is the news coming from India the next news uh, is related to the video that i have done uh, related to web3 so web3 uh, is equal to common man's network so why i'm saying is that because till recently in web2 what was happening is that youtube facebook these big companies were apple these big companies were like mediator between the publishers and consumers and uh, basically the content creators as well so they were uh, earning a lot of commissions uh, from the content creators Say for example, if content creator is uh, making some music, 
brand new music and they want to sell it for say hundred dollars so out of the hundred dollars so these companies were earning the commissions around fifty sixty dollars and then remaining fifty sixty dollars we are going to the uh, content creators hands and uh, so in web3 that will be changing in web3 content creators will earn up to 90 percent 95 percent of the money that they that they owe so that's the reason why people are bullish on web3 and in future web3 is gonna be replacing web2 not completely but at least 80 to uh, 90 percent in uh, next five five to six years Then uh, top candidate in crypto exchange uh, is going to be list, uh, delisting the XRP. So there is a fight going on between XRP and the SEC. That is the regulator in financial regulator in United States. And that's the reason uh, that this uh, cryptocurrency exchange is given to delist the XRP. So that's a negative sentiment for the XRP investors. And the next news uh, is again, uh, I have done this tweet. So here I'm talking about how I did the transfer for a Commonwealth Bank app to Binance. And then the funds were supposed to be uh, supposed to be remitted immediately, but they just, uh, the transaction went into pending status for one day, almost one day. And that's the reason we need Web3. In Web3 transactions, uh, nobody will have the control over the transactions, right? It is a permissionless network. And uh, that's why we need Web3. There will not be any central authority. Everything will be de decentralized. And then uh, the final news about the Tesla. So Tesla uh, is facing the hit from the US regulator SEC. So they have opened the probe into electric uh, car maker Tesla over the whistleblower claims on the solar panel defects. And that's why Tesla stock was under pressure as well recently. So that's it in today's uh, video. If you have more questions, uh, concerns, uh, let me know through the comments and uh, I will uh, definitely happy to discuss on those. Thanks for watching this video.